This is a video on how to get CTGP for Mario Kart Wii on the Nintendo Wii version 4.3. That rhymes a lot, but that is the most common version I think people have for the Wii version 4.3. So we're gonna be doing that one. And this is my most requested question probably on the channel. There is a step-by-step -step tutorial on Mr. Bean's and uh, Chatter's website, but people still ask me uh, for this this video. So we're just gonna knock it out right now. And hopefully by the end of this video, plenty more of you guys will have CTGP and will be able to play custom tracks online. Okay. So first off, I wanna make this installation as quick and painless as possible. I've installed CTGP many times at friends' houses and I know tons of people who have it, thousands have this modification and I've never heard anyone who's damaged their console from it. However, I still have to say it is console modification, so do it at your own risk. Uh, Wii options in the bottom left corner is where we're going to start and then we're going to head over to the right at Wii settings and make sure you have 4.3 for this tutorial. Now the U just means whatever region you're in. That letter varies. After that, head to internet, make sure you have a router, uh, internet connection at the top and then uh, head to console information so you can write down your MAC address. Now the MAC address is needed to type into the website later and make sure you don't give this to anyone. Uh, you don't want to get hacked, so you don't want anyone to know your MAC address. And from there, we're going to go to Google and type in Chadsoft, click on CTGP Revolution. That is Mr. Bean and Chatter's website. And from there, we're going to go to install guide at the top and then we click begin. So now, uh, do you have Mario Kart Wii game disc? Yes, you need that. Do you have an SD card? Yes, everyone should have an SD card in 2018. And uh, Wii or Wii U, we're doing Wii for this tutorial, and you have any of the following. For this, for the sake of this, we're going to say no, because most of you probably don't. And what version is your Wii? Uh, it works, like I said, it works for any version, but this tutorial is for 4.3. So then you have this giant list of things we have to do. Now, from here, it is time to insert the SD card. Now, SD cards, you can buy them at 8 bucks. For 8 bucks on Amazon, you can go to Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere if you don't have one. And uh, once you have the SD card installed, we're going to start downloading stuff. So first head to hack me and make sure you have the system menu version right. We're 4.3U. And then after that, we're going to head over to the MAC address and whatever you typed, uh, you wrote down earlier, you're going to type that in. It should be 12 characters. Now, once you have that typed in, you're going to make sure you uncheck the hack me installer. You don't need that for this tutorial click that you're not a robot and then cut either the red or blue wire. It's just a silly joke. <laughs> After that, it'll download letterbomb.zip and that'll be in your downloads folder most likely. And here, here we are at the downloads and then you're going to unzip it and you'll get a private folder. Now, once you click letterbomb.zip and if it didn't give you a private folder, it means you probably don't have a zip program, something that can unzip files. So the unarchiver is something that's great for Macs. That's on the right. You can download that. Just Google it. And the WinRAR is good for PCs. So download one of those programs, depending on what you have, and that'll help you unzip these files, these zip files, in order to get the files you need in order to get CTGP. So I'll be surprised if you don't have one of those, but I guess it, it can happen still. So after that, on the right, we have our CTGP Wii SD card that, that's the root of the SD card on the right. And then on the left, we have our downloads section in our computer and we have letterbomb.zip and private. So we're gonna move the private folder over into our SD card root, which is the first thing that will show up when you click an SD card, that's the root. After that, we're gonna go to CTGPR. That's another link right there. And that will lead you to the mega website. And then from there, 693 megabytes, you're gonna click download. This is the second thing you'll need to download unless you had to download either Archiver or WinRAR also. And this might take a few minutes because it's kind of large, 693 megabytes. Once you have that, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna click it, that unzips it, and you'll get a folder. And with that folder, you're gonna click inside of it and you're gonna need all four of those things. There's apps, boot.elf, ctgpr, and revolution. The readme is not important and you're gonna grab all four of those files and you're gonna move them over to the root of the SD card, which is also where the private folder is. And your boot.elf icon might look different, that doesn't matter. As long as you are able to copy them over, you should have five files now that are important in order to get the CTGP Revolution channel. So whatever else you have in your SD card doesn't matter, as long as you have those five things, you're good to go. 
From there, you're going to safely eject your SD card by either right clicking it, clicking eject, or just dragging it to the trash can. And then you're going to re remove your SD card from your computer. And now we're almost at the end, guys. So you're going to go to insert the SD card into the Wii. We're already on step eight. And that is the slot right below the red button at the front of the Wii. And then now we're back at the Wii and we're going to go all the way back to the main menu. This is actually a good time to insert your Mario Kart Wii disc before you forget. So if you don't have it in already, do this and then you're going to head to the right, bottom right corner where the Wii message board is. And you're going to click a few days forward or a few days back and look for letter bomb. And it looks very conspicuous. You're going to click it. I know it looks sketchy, but it'll lead to that black screen followed by another black screen. And then it will say, wait for it, preparing SD. You're almost there. And bam! CTGP Revolution by Mr. Bean, 35,000 VR, and Chatters. And just like that, you did it. I mean, <laughs> it only took six minutes. <laughs> so from there, you know, check your language. Be sure you turn on auto updates, read all that stuff. And I skipped quite a bit of it here because I've already seen this screen many times. Make sure you install any updates that are necessary. And from now on, you won't have to uh, be grabbing files from your SD card and moving them over. You can just auto update by clicking yes. So anytime there are new tracks, you can just start up the CTGP channel, click update, and you can get all the new updates, which will be new features, tracks, modifications to fix tracks, and all this crazy stuff. So from then, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the add CTGP channel, you're going to install it, and that will add this channel to your Wii menu. And that's important. It makes it super easy to access it. This might take a while. I've had it freeze before and then you just have to redo the process. I've had it freeze a couple times, so just be wary of that. It's not too uncommon, but just unplug your Wii and you'll be good to go. Uh, right there, Cup Organizer, I recommend turning it to alphabetical. It makes it so much easier to find the track because you now have 250 tracks, so you want it on alphabetical. The Nintendo tracks are still in their main cups, but other than that, yeah. Um, that's it. I mean, you're, you're done. Make sure you go to WingFi after that and uh, you will not be able to play online for one week once you after you click the WingFi button because it's part of the process. It keeps hackers from being able to play right away after they get banned. There's always a one week on any new account. So um, I know it sucks. I really wish the one week thing wasn't applied to CTGP users. It's just the way it is. But you do have 250 tracks to play in time trials and Grand Prix. You can practice those during the week where you can't play online. Yeah, guys, that is it. That was very quick. Um, I hope this tutorial helped. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube. I tried to make this one very zoomed in and very quick pace. So I hope it, it got the job done. And please give this video a thumbs up to help. And then like, obviously, show this video to any of your friends who you know think ctgp is too much of a hassle to get because i just want as many people playing this as possible it's great to see mario kart we still alive and your your thumbs up and you sharing the video will definitely help make that happen make other people get this channel and we'll get a ton of new people playing for the summer so that's the goal here all right guys thank you for watching the video i hope it helped yeah enjoy funky kong dancing and peace